and ask yourself how comfortable you feel. Well, the answer is pretty comfortable. Comfortable enough to say all in. Yeah. All right, here we go. We see a call. All in and a call for <laughs> right off the bat. We've got action on this final table. Some big hands. We're playing a big one. Almost 2.4 million in the middle. Advantage Live Shits, but she's got to fade a full run out here. I like, I like those people. Here it comes. 6.79 is definitely in favor of the two jacks as they extend the stranglehold. Three to one favorite Not a chop, with two to people. come. The turn is an eight, and as oh, oh, well. the boys were rooting against the chop, it suddenly becomes a possibility. Queen of Clubs is just what she had in mind, and she can exhale as the chips will be counted down for a full double and then some. Oh, oh man. Wow. Well, she does go all in, and the customer is Seidel, who she has covered, but certainly not in terms of hand strength as the two jacks. Oh, an ace high flop yes. now. Vaults Schwan well in front in terms of equity. Just 12% with two to come is well, Seidel, <laughs> who needs to hit in this 1.3 million chip pot. No straight draw on the turn for him as the 9 or 10 are not present. And a jack alone will rescue Eric Seidel from elimination here at this final table. Is it there? No, the five of spades will send the pot to Schwan Lu and send Eric Seidel out of here in sixth place. Right, I'll see you in New York. Deuces. Let's see if we can find a deuce on this flop here. Yeah, he's going to grab his miner's hat. Green five suited. I think Adam might be incentivized to call as it's suited. Granted, you don't want to play it. Once again, same if she applies, playing a big pot out of position against the chip leader, but this one hopefully will be small in his eyes. Oh, oh heart my draw God. for the queen five, which is drawing dead. Okay. Well, I take that back. The ace four, the four six of hearts could come perfect. perfect Give them the, but, uh, the 0 0.1, 0 0.2% right. chance. What a flop for Nate. Liv Schitz. Actually a really good flop for Liv Schitz. So unfortunate. But there's oh, she checks back, though, Ethan, and now wow. picks up a diamond draw, so okay. certainly no escape will be available. Silver continues to try to get somebody to incinerate some chips. Unless they both check back, which would be insane. Check. But every now and again for balance, you're going to want to realize it. And here we are. What will Nate do? Nate's going to hope for a diamond. Getting a pretty good price here Call. on the 85K. Most of the time it is. Oh, look at this, though. There the black is. four is perhaps even better than the diamond for Liv Shits as she makes the nut straight. That is such a such a bad card for Liv Shits right now. She must be loving it, though. Oh, here it is. I What's like the this sizing into 550, though. I have no idea. It's really hard to play quads. Hendrix might have been thinking about something with the blocker five, but... This might be like the best call ever. I call. Yeah, wow. and she does just call. That's the best call wow. ever. <laughs> the Jesus. paired board. Nice oh, there. Oh, there's nothing there equal is. about having your two sevens Come dealt. On, At the oh, time yeah. that Silver has two black kings, Sebesta Unlucky. going to run into a snap call here as one king hits the muck, but two will be on their backs. <laughs> Silver. Are around, man. <laughs> in a wonderful spot. Needs a seven and instead wow, looks somewhere. up at ace jack it's ten in this the same flop that Schwan and Sebesta was in. Two and a half million chip pot. Schwan had two eights? Sevens. Oh, she had the sevens as well? Okay. Then the wait a minute, wait a minute. Ooh. Now suddenly, instead of just hunting a seven, Sebesta can add eights to the mix as he has six outs to double and stay alive. Can he hit? Ooh. Nine. Close, what? but no cigar. Oh, and that back. spells the oh, end of the road for our nice. elder statesman here close. at this final oh. table, I think Ed Sebesta. 7-5-4, all diamonds here. It's a good way, to lock, up live shits. good way to lock up some free roll money for those comps. That's true. <laughs> it's nightmare fuel. Kidding me? Go to Bach, at least. You bet player 80. in the bank. 
Live shits, a little sprinkle. It'll work. But of course, with the 754, a diamond's all busy. It's a little smaller than it might normally be. Gets the job done if you hit it. Which he does not. After calling the ADK in this limp pot pre, blind versus blind. Check. He's got some demon thoughts right now. Is he going to go with it or just, or just reel it back? Oh, he's going. Oh, oh my God, he is going for the demon thoughts. What a sick bet. This would be a sick, sick call if Victoria gets in there. Oh, she's going to use multiple time banks, it seems like. Great call. Oh, my God, what a call. And Hendrix Damn. dusting off over a quarter of his remaining stack with an ambitious play that was sniffed out by Victoria, who kind of looks at the rest of the field as if to say, you're not playing with kids. She's here to battle. When he correctly predicted the results of the primaries and the presidential winner in 49 states, only one way to improve upon that, and he did it in 2012, predicting correctly 50 of 50 states. Math wins. How much is that? It doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't hurt, well, that's for sure. refute the science behind I'm all in. math. All in. Oh. Has Adam in a bad way? I don't want to say it. Huh? I don't want to say it. You know what I told it. <laughs> well, I guess you just said well, it then. There it is. That's not great. Two outs for Adam. Or some straight possibilities. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> There's four of them in wow. the deck. <laughs> Seriously? Show another ace. A blush, I guess. Super Such crazy. bad shape. And now she has just two outs. And the river, <sighs> ten of spades, not really? among them. So a massive <laughs> blow <laughs> to Victoria's <laughs> stack <laughs> here. She might actually fold. Okay, well, you know, that's just great timing by me. Ace Queen did well for Hendrix. Schwan gonna try her oh luck. And Ace God. King Victoria wow. wakes up with. She found the better hand than King Four. <laughs> she found it by a wide margin. How much glory this would have been if her queens held up. Oh my oh God. Oh no. A queen high flop puts Schwan Lu into the lead and it isn't close. Board pairs on the turn, and it is seven outs once. The answer is no. You played so well. I was with you. Okay. Thank you. And immediately you hear Adam Hendricks complimenting yeah. Victoria's play. Certainly flawless from this vantage point. And it was an uncooperative deck. A lot of sympathy being delivered to Liv Schitz, who can hold her head up high, as we often say, and recognize, as all professionals do, that on some occasions, it just isn't your day. All in. All in. Green five offsuit will qualify for eight big blinds. Oh, and the ace jack is a customer as Schwan spun the wheel, recognizing there was going to be a need to do so sooner than later off of her eight big blinds, looking for some fold equity. Here comes the flop. Not as much life. Yeah, two deuces and an ace, and Schwan does push the rest of her stack forward as if to say, I know it's over. And courtesy of the Seven of Hearts, that's exactly what it is. Nice playing with you again. Shuan Lu eliminated in third place, taking down $96,200 to add to her career tournament total of over two million. Nothing to be ashamed of there. Well, Silver loves his deuces. Will it come in here? King of spades. Yeah, now Ford will flush on board as Silver has bloated oh. this thing oh. to 2.55 million, and he's going to jam. Oh. And what a, an uncomfortable spot this is suddenly. Wow. As played, we tend to want to remove the ace of spades from Silver's range, whether it was suited, which we block if we're Hendrix, or whether it was standalone, which would likely want to deposit more chips pre-flop. Queen of spades, is the 10 of spades playing like this? Is the nine of spades Two, four, playing like this? 
it's a paired board, and you know you think those hands would be a little bit more conservative. And here we are. You beat a stone cold bluff, as bl as disgusting as it is. Oh, he and he folds. puts it into the muck. What a remarkable run out that was for Silver. The pair on the turn, the fourth spade, and he manages to get it through. Silver We're battling, taking this to the streets. This is a, a decent chunk of his remaining stack here over, that he is over one million. Oh, committed. this is going to be fireworks. Open ended for Silver. Backdoor flush draw as well oh, versus top pair, top kicker for Hendricks. Could imagine maybe stacks are going to get in. Nate might be incentivized to oh. go. Yeah, on. yeah. He's going to jam, seek fold equity, and now you see. You don't love it, Adam, but top, top. A little bit dismayed at the outcome. Oh, yet. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, it did feel like it could have been a bit trappy in terms of an overpair or something. Heart would be quite the sweat. And the turn card pairs the board now, no giving no five, and we're good. Trip nines to Adam Hendricks, who recognizes no ten, no five, that he is in a great way. Silver needs to hit a ten or a five to double and extend play. Instead, Could the Deuce of Hearts finally game. draws the curtain <laughs> on event number four. Play great. As Adam Hendricks' family well. is ecstatic. Adam Hendricks, his day at the office. Coming to an end, hard fought, well earned, but still plenty of poker masters left as six events remain. But for now, that's it. Certainly hope you enjoyed today's coverage. Don't forget tomorrow, it'll be the final table of the 10K8 game. On behalf of our entire crew here in Las Vegas, and that adorable little Kai, along with Rampage Yao, this is Ali Najad saying good night, and we'll see you tomorrow.